Morning Prayer for Thursday the 5th of November O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, Ruler and Judge of all. To you be praise and glory for ever. In the darkness of this age that is passing away, may the light of your presence, which the saints enjoy, surround our steps as we journey on. May we reflect your glory this day, and so be made ready to see your face in the heavenly city, where night shall be no more. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. As the deer longs for the water brooks, so my soul longs for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, even for the living God. When shall I come before the presence of God? My tears have been my bread day and night, while all day long they say to me, Where is now your God? Now when I think on these things I pour out my soul. How I went with the multitude and led the procession to the house of God, with the voice of praise and thanksgiving, among those who kept holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? O put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night is past, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. The earth is the Lord's. The Lord's throne is in heaven. In the Lord have I taken refuge. How then can you say to me, Flee like a bird to the hills? For see how the wicked bend the bow and fit their arrows to the string, to shoot from the shadows at the true of heart. When the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord's throne is in heaven. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold. His eyelids try every mortal being. The Lord tries the righteous as well as the wicked. But those who delight in violence, his soul abhors. Upon the wicked he shall rain coals of fire and burning sulphur. Scorching wind shall be their portion to drink. For the Lord is righteous, he loves righteous deeds. And those who are upright shall behold his face. The Lord's throne is in heaven. God of heaven, when the foundations are shaken and there is no escape, test us but not to destruction. Look on the face of your anointed and heal us in Jesus Christ your Son. Through the greatness of your mercy, I will come into your house. Lord, who may dwell in your tabernacle? Who may rest upon your holy hill? Whoever leads an uncorrupt life and does the thing that is right, who speaks the truth from the heart and bears no deceit on the tongue, who does no evil to a friend and pours no scorn on a neighbour, 
in whose sight the wicked are not esteemed, but who honours those who fear the Lord. Whoever has sworn to a neighbour, and never goes back on that word, who does not lend money in hope of gain, nor takes a bribe against the innocent, whoever does these things shall never fall. Through the greatness of your mercy I will come into your house. Lord, lead us to our heavenly home by single steps of self-restraint and deeds of righteousness through the grace of Jesus Christ our Lord. O oh, praise the name of the Lord. Alleluia. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you his angels. Praise him, all his host. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you stars of light. Praise him, heaven of heavens, and ye waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded, and they were created. He made them fast for ever and ever. He gave them a law which shall not pass away. O oh, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters and all deeps, fine fire and hail, snow and mist, tempestuous wind fulfilling his word mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild beasts and all cattle, creeping things and birds on the wing, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the world, young men and women, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For his name only is exalted, his splendour above earth and heaven. He has raised up the horn of his people and praise for all his faithful servants, the children of Israel, a people who are near him. Alleluia. O oh, praise the name of the Lord. O oh, glorious God, your whole creation sings your marvellous work. May heaven's praise so echo in our hearts that we may be good stewards of the earth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I am the Lord, your Holy One the creator of Israel, your king. Thus says the Lord who makes a way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth, do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my chosen people, the people whom I formed for myself, that they might declare my praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. I will make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. Let us pray. A reading from the book of Revelation. And to the angel of the church in Sardis write, These are the words of him who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your works. You have a name for being alive, but you are dead. Wake up and strengthen what remains and is at the point of death. 
for I have not found your works perfect in the sight of my God. Remember then what you received and heard. Obey it and repent. If you do not wake up, I will come like a thief, and you will not know at what hour I will come to you. Yet you have still a few people in Sardis who have not soiled their clothes. They will walk with me dressed in white, for they are worthy. If you conquer, you will be clothed like them in white robes, and I will not blot your name out of the book of life. I will confess your name before my Father and before his angels. Let anyone who has an ear listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These are the words of the Holy One, the True One, who has the key of David, who opens and no one will shut, who shuts and no one opens. I know your works. Look, I have set before you an open door which no one is able to shut. I know that you have but little power, and yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. I will make those of the synagogue of Satan, who say they are Jews and are not, but are lying, I will make them come and bow down before your feet, and they will learn that I have loved you. Because you have kept my word of patient endurance, I will keep you from the hour of trial that is coming on the whole world to test the inhabitants of the earth. I am coming soon. Hold fast to what you have, so that no one may seize your crown. If you conquer, I will make you a pillar in the temple of my God. You will never go out of it. I will, make, I will write on you the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, that comes down from my God out of heaven and my own new name. Let anyone who has an ear listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. I will sing for ever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. The heavens bear witness to your wonders. I will sing for ever of your love, O Lord. The assembly of your saints proclaims your truth. My lips shall proclaim your righteousness. Faithfulness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and righteousness go before you. I will sing for ever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. You will guide us with your counsel, O God, and afterwards receive us with glory. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You will guide us with your counsel, O God, and afterwards receive us with glory. During our prayers, if you want to add your own, please press the pause button, and then play uh, once you want to continue. 
Let us pray for the day and its tasks. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the world and its needs. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the church and her life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the saints on earth that they may live as citizens of heaven. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all people that they may hear and believe the word of God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who fear the winter months. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all sovereigns and political leaders, that they might imitate the righteous rule of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who grieve or wait with the dying. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty and eternal God, you have kindled the flame of love in the hearts of the saints. Grant to us the same faith and power of love, that as we rejoice in their triumphs, we may be sustained by their example and fellowship. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>